Welcome to Big Eat Small Spots. We're in Kirkland, Washington today, which lies right on the shore of Lake Washington. There's a lot of public parks, there's volleyball, there's beaches, there's a lot of things to do on the, on the Lake Washington. So if you're gonna come on over for the day, there's shopping, there's spas, art galleries, they have the um, Kirkland Performance Art Theater, and a lot of outdoor bronze sculptures. Uh, the cow with the with the howling fox, that's a really good one. And especially what we like to do is check out some restaurants. So today, we're gonna check out some restaurants in Kirkland, Washington, and have a great time. So come on and join us. So we're here at Shamiana. This is an Indian food in Kirkland that's been here for about 20 years. It's great food. We're gonna go and talk to Max, find out a little bit more about Chamiana, and have a great time. So come on, let's join me in Chamiana. We're with Max at Shamiana, and we're going to learn a little bit more about this place. It's got some great food and uh, great history, and Max is really good at uh, making us laugh. So, Max, nice to see you. Hey, pleasure to be here. Wait, I, I'm always here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let, give us a little bit of All history. Right. Well, Shamiana, about Shamiana is a restaurant that's been uh, a mainstay on the east side. Uh, we are probably one of the first Indian restaurants on the east side. Okay. We've been uh, continually operating for 21 years. Um, Shamiana gets its name from the colorful tents that they do celebrations in around the subcontinent of India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. And instead of doing those white rental tents, they do beautiful colored tents. Uh, the panels behind me up there are actually panels from Shamiana's. Okay. And uh, that's when you have more than one. Um, <laughs> we have. <laughs> We have a, a diverse menu. It's not only just North Indian or South Indian. We have food from India and beyond. Um, our kima kebabs are like a Pakistani style kima. Um, our samosas, they, they tend to be more of a North African. We have a sauce from Malaysia rather than just, just focusing on Gujarati food or particular North Indian cuisine. So you'll find a very diverse menu. Um, you also find a menu that really we can customize for your individual taste. If you do not like really spicy food, we can certainly tone the, the heat down, but still give you a full flavored dish. Um, we have great options for vegans, people that can't have any dairy, or people are just looking for nice. good vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. um, our staff is very knowledgeable, and if they don't know, they know where to ask to find out, hey, does this have gluten in it? Because nowadays people are allergic to a lot of stuff, and we yes. try to always make sure that we are sensitive to that and we can you know accommodate what what you're looking for in, in a meal um, when when I first uh, came to work at Shamiana I was working for Eric and Tracy they are they're the founders of the restaurant and they're white like me which is really strange <laughs> to have uh, Caucasian preparing Indian food uh -huh. um, they grew up in India and uh, instead of uh, having TV that they did after school or after you know they didn't, you know, they went, they went right to the kitchen where the, the help was grinding spices and they're making food. And when they got back to the United States, it was around 1989 or whatever, they really missed the food. And they couldn't really find that type of food on the east side of uh, Seattle. And so mm -hmm. they, they went back to India one more time and did a little uh, research on where, what kind of food they missed the most. And mm -hmm. that's where our menu really started. It was really utilizing Indian techniques with local ingredients. And nice. we try to really still stay true to that, even now. <laughs> after, uh, after the owners had run the place for 20 years, um, I was, I'd been their general manager for nine years, and I had the opportunity to really kind of move into a Kirkland institution, and I jumped at the opportunity. It was like, uh, it's like buying a car that you've been driving for 10 years, <laughs> although you had never owned it, yeah. but you know what's wrong with the car, and you know what's right with the car, and you know that, hey, the car keeps going. I put a little gas in, and it keeps going. So yeah, yeah. Shamiana is one of those restaurants where we're, we're blessed with a long staff life. You know, I've, I have servers that have been here 19 years. Nice. Some have more seniority than me, and I'm the yeah. owner. I don't know how that works. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, it's working because yeah. you know, I, like I said, I, I've come in here and, and and I just fell in love with with all the different flavors and the foods, and 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 it's amazing. Um, you took me in the back, and we had some naan bread with the garlic, and I still, you know, remember that. It's just like, mm, so fresh, good. Fresh naan bread. Oh, my goodness. Shimiana, you know, we are always trying to do one better. If, if it's a butter sauce and it calls for two pounds of butter, we might put three in there, you mm. know. Um, if it asks for two tablespoons of cumin, we might put three or four, you know, to really try to accent the, the food and the flavor. And I think if you look at our, our menu, you're going to have food that is uh, sweet and mild. Our best-selling dish is our major grade chicken curry. People cannot get enough of that. They'll order just the sauce. They'll have, the, you know, we used to always just do major grade chicken, but now we let them put vegetables in there, or paneer, which is a homemade Indian cheese that we make right here. Uh -huh. um, so we've taken that dish that was always just major grade chicken and turned it into just a... A, a sauce that people cannot do without. They'll put chickpeas in there. They'll, you know, vegetarians miss out on major grade chicken, so they want to just do vegetables or potatoes. You know, and we have a lot of traditional items like uh, eggplant bartha or, you know, sog paneer or sog uh, aloo, which is sog potato. Um, and some of our dishes are the way that the owners wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. And being, I apprenticed with Eric and Tracy for about 10 years learning how to cook the food. Um, I even add to that. And Indian cuisine is interesting. Oh, thank you. Indian food is interesting. Um, here we have our garlic naan bread and our combination samosa. Um, Indian mm -hmm. food's interesting because a lot of the recipes are not written. And a lot of it is passed down from mother to daughter. And it's kind of interesting we carry that tradition on here as Eric and Tracy showed me how to cook. I'm, I'm showing the next generation of Shemiana chefs how to prepare, how to cook the onions really dark in your masala so it comes out flavorful. Um, here we have two, uh, two different types of samosas. Uh, samosas are eaten you know, any time during the day. They're not always um, served as an appetizer. Sometimes it's a meal or a quick snack that you're packed. Uh, garlic naan is just a staple with everything. You gotta have that. So mm -hmm. that is our uh, meat samosas. It's a ground lamb and ground beef. Uh, it's got onions, garlic, ginger. Uh, so which one is this? This one is the meat. The veggie okay. samosas are sitting on top of the carrots, so that's how we keep them straight. Oh, okay. Um, the meat samosas are are traditionally eaten with a little of our uh, coriander yeah, chutney. Yeah, what is this? And that, that's made with with coconut, uh, fresh ginger, fresh serrano chilies. Mm. Uh, I'm already mouthwatering. Lemon, <laughs> lemon juice. Um, there's pepper in there. Uh, it's got a unique kind of sweetness mm. to it, but also a nice little. Uh, heat from the serrano chilies mm -hmm. and nice that, and bright yeah it's nice and bright and it, it really complements the uh the spicing that's in the uh meat samosa now the vegetable samosas have more ginger it's got pea potato mm -hmm. um they've got uh cumin seeds whole cumin seeds are added it's got turmeric which is a, a relative of ginger um used a lot it, it imparts a little little flavor but a lot of times it's the color it's the stuff that changes your chef coat from uh, white to yellow and that's why <laughs> I'm wearing the black chef coat um, you'll find uh, turmeric by itself <laughs> yeah turmeric can be a, a bitter by itself but as a, a component it's a great item to add just a, a complex flavor and it has kind of by itself if you were to just put a little turmeric in your mouth it's it's somewhat metallic -y. it's it, really? it's not great by itself but as you You'll see as we mm. prepare more food for you. Mm. Um, it's some tasty stuff. Uh, the vegetable wow. samosas. Vegetables. Oh, that's good. You like those? See, yeah. my favorite are the meat ones. I just like the meat ones. Well, I like both of them, but there you um, go. this is very, yeah, you know, veg, it's just really good. Just We, uh, we you know, we try to make sure that uh, the ingredients are fresh. Um, if they I really like the chutney. Yeah, if they're, if they're not fresh, you know, we, don't, we, just, we just don't have them in the house. Mm -hmm. we, got, we got to have the, the, the best spices, the oh. best raw ingredients. Mm -hmm. to make them come out and taste excellent the way they, they always do. And, you know, people have found mm -hmm. that over 21 years, they can always count on Shimiana being that place that's very consistent. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat the naan while it's hot, too. You got to have hot naan. Now, All right. Naan bread is cooked uh, in a tandoor. Um, it's a uh, yes, mogul. Tell us about that. It's a mogul. Uh, Oven that is really is the world's first convection oven. Um, they traditionally stoke the oven. It's a large clay cylinder that they would stoke with coal. And our tandoor runs about a thousand degrees. Um, 
it's hot enough where you put your hand in there, you, your hair just kind of melts off your arm. So <laughs> I've got one dominant arm, one arm's hairy, one is not. But um, when you put that on in the oven, the oven starts cooking it on the back. It actually sticks to the side of the oven. It's cooked vertically. And the air naturally just cyclones around there. So it's cooking on the back and on the front. Okay. Now, if that oven wasn't turned on early enough, it will just stick and it won't come off. And you will not have non. Um, oh. It will just not happen until that oven reaches about 700 degrees. So a little planning ahead. Um, and then if it Very is pleasant. too hot, which it can be, um, it will stick for a second and then just immediately fall. So you have to balance that. And it's not like an oven that has a thermostat. This one has just like a throttle. Imagine it's like a motorcycle. You just go, <laughs> All right, it's really hot. Okay, back it off a little bit. And we have like a... Uh, infrared gun that we shoot the side of the oven just to calibrate it and go, okay, that's that's perfect. Okay. And it also has a lid. So if you cover it with the lid, it can get too hot. So you yeah. got to sometimes halfway a jar on the lid. Does a really good job heating the kitchen in the summer, <laughs> um, which you, know, you don't always want. But in the no. winter, it's nice. Sometimes we will just crank up the tandoori and forget to <laughs> and turn the it, hoods huh? on, and it just starts to get warm back there. And then, then at one point we go, okay, we need exhaust. Turn the exhaust on. <laughs> This is delicious. Yeah. I love the butter. And then, you know, we have, uh, you know, a lot of Indian restaurants will have tons of different kinds of naan. We have just three, and they're just three of the best. One is just our plain naan. It's just naan that... Is any, that this? No. This no. is our cilantro garlic butter naan. Okay. Okay. Um, we have plain naan. We have traditional naan, which uses uh, ghee or clarified butter, and nigella seeds, which are the, just the seed from the onion flour. And those hmm. are just a distinctly oniony flavor that works out great with the naan. And also we use them in some of our other dishes. We have a mixed vegetable curry and an Indian ponch faran, which means uh, five foreign, five foreign spices. Mm. And we will use those uh, whole most of the time, or sometimes we'll actually add them as uh, an ingredient in a chutney. I think our our chutney special this week is a roasted tomato chutney with nigella seeds. So nice. very popular seed. That's delicious. That is the oh. stuff. That is some good stuff. Oh. So. You know, Shamiana, people mm. walk in and they, sometimes they don't even look at the menu. Um, I'm sorry, folks, but when, when we when we like first a, when we first uh, started, uh, we really thought we needed to look at our menu and really change it a lot. But we found when we took items off, people were missing them. And then you know, one item we can never touch is the major gray. We know that it has mm. to always be on there. Oh, that's one of my but, favorites. But you know, we have great items like a masala ginger lamb curry. We do a lamb tikka, which is made with the eye of the lamb sirloin which just by itself is just a mouth-watering, succulent piece. Imagine the lamb chop uh -huh. that somebody's taken that little eye out of that <laughs> lamb chop, and then wow. we've sliced that, and we marinate it in yogurt and cumin and garlic, and then it goes into that really hot tandoor. And what it does for bread, it also does for meat. It sears the outside of uh, the meat that you put in there. We're going to try a, a tandoori chicken here. Okay. That's coming out shortly. So. Mm. Right, when you put that chicken in the oven, it actually just, it'll sear the outside, and so it starts to just m concentrate the moisture of whatever natural product was in there, mm -hmm. and it just comes out nice, fork tender and moist. Oh, nice. The lamb uh, is good, but uh, I, my favorite is probably our chicken tikka masala, which uh, is probably number two or number three on the most popular curries, and it's a great curry for people that, you know, people think curry, they just think yellow. And mm -hmm. curry, in Sometimes, the word, yeah. means mixture or stew, uh, you know, a hearty stew. So when people say, I don't like curry, they're like saying they don't like anything that's wet or that has chunks of ingredients in it, you uh -huh, know. Uh -huh. And it's so, so generic to say, I don't like curry. It's so much better to just say, well, I don't like spicy curries. That's one thing you can say. Yeah. And, then, you know, and if you're a novice at curry, you know, come in and tell your server, I don't know what to order. Yeah. And we will give you, we'll go back to the kitchen and make the cook heat up some sauce for you. You can have a little sauce. We'll give you, taste just that. Just to test it out. Yeah, just to test it out. Um, you know, we have kids that have grown up eating curry here, and then they'll go out to other restaurants and they'll go, ah, it just didn't taste as good. Yeah. And, you know, we, we have some clientele that have come here as children and bring their children here. When yeah. That's what happens when you're a mainstay and you stay yeah. in the same area, helping the same community. Yeah, I mean, it, that's why like, I came here just briefly and, I had a customer, she was just telling us, you know, that, that they have their birthday parties here, and um, whenever they have a family event, they come here. It's just, I mean, it's that special to her, so. One of the traditions mm. at Shamiana is uh, teaching cooking classes. Really? And, and we, uh, 
we do teach classes here. We have a schedule out for next year. We do about six to eight classes a year. Nice. We have them, we cook right down here for you. Um, it's it's a chance for you to come with a group of people or just by you and a date. It's a great date thing uh -huh. to come and enjoy great tasting Indian food, learn how to make it, learn what spices and ingredients you need, learn how to caramelize the onions, dark if you need them, mm -hmm. depending on which dish you're cooking. Some require you to actually burn the onions, which I think is great. Anytime you get to burn onions and it not be a disaster <laughs> is awesome. But um, a lot of times the onions need to be uh, caramelized to the point where like when we serve our palau, you're going to see some really dark onions on top, and those are actually just a garnish onion. They're actually fried. Mm. But the onions for like a masala, you have to actually scrape with a spoon on the bottom of the pan and keep getting that brown off of the pan to allow more onion down there to get brown. Mm. Once you get it all brown and the desire, then you'll add ginger and garlic and then you'll add spices to bloom. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. term bloom spices is really because you cook with oil and a lot of essential flavors come out of the spice, the whole seeds or the, the leaves or whatever, if you're using uh, fun and Greek or whatever leaves are kind of heat activated. And when that heat hits them, they release oil and that permeates the oil that you've cooked your onions in. And so that flavor dissipates throughout the entire dish. Yeah, you see that a lot in the, in the cooking shows and stuff and you, they you know, talk about it, and, um, but you don't hear about it. And in, in, in an Indian food, I think that's a lot a to lot do with. A lot of it. spicing. Um, you know, my very <clears throat> first job was a French restaurant and they kind of, a small spice caddy. You know, here I've got like a giant spice wall and then a whole bunch of small spice walls. <laughs> and then there's like another shelf where I keep some other stuff that I don't use that often, some curry, you know, curry leaves or, you know, just, strange asafoetida, which is like a sap of a tree. Wow. And depending geographically where you go in India, there's tons of regional variations. Yeah. And what's interesting is like, wow. if you think about a dish, chicken tikka masala, people know that everywhere, but some places have tomato, some places don't. Most of the time, the only common ingredient you'll find is chicken, <laughs> unfortunately, um, because it's really not an Indian dish. It's a London curry house dish. Huh. And so, you know, the British occupied India for a long yeah, time, yeah. and they still miss that Indian food. So, like, even, like, curry powder isn't a very Indian item. It's a very American item or British item. Huh. It's imported just to remind them of the flavor. Something, nice. you know, a condiment as simple as, like, Worcestershire has r roots in oh, India. Oh, here we go. Because it was uh, concocted. All right, here's our tandoori chicken. Um, <laughs> Well, and these are our caramelized onions. Tandoori oh, chicken can be so uh, can be either served uh, like here. We do a boneless, just a just all the good stuff there. Some places will serve a, like a half chicken where you have to wrestle with it. This you just carve in and enjoy. Um, it's served on a bed of our pulao. The pulao is uh, brightly yellow, and Indians love color, and it's a lot about contrast. So the Tandoori chicken is marinated in yogurt. Um, a netto spice traditionally gives it that bright red color. Um, it also has cumin, dry mint, garlic, um, chilies. Um, there's fresh uh, cilantro in there. There's fresh chilies in there. There's Look at that. curry powder. There's just, you name it. So when you say, I'm not sure if I like it, you know. How can you not like that? How can you not like that? Um, the palau itself, oh, to maintain the bright yellow color, you know, we infuse that palau with whole cinnamon sticks and whole cumin seeds to keep the bright yellow. And the turmeric is what gives it that yellow color. And that was a little garnish, the, the and, dark. And this is the caramelized onion on top. And those are, are cooked crisp. They have a nice, uh, almost a nutty taste to them. Should I put some lemon on it? You can squeeze it. Usually we put it on the chicken. Um, and most of the time, you know, if you like it on there, I, I usually just eat it like that. The yeah. word... Um, Tikka means barbecue, so when you say tikka masala chicken, this is the chicken that's cut up and put in your chicken tikka masala. And These it, onions are really good. Those are those are the good part. Um, this one here is by far, looks tame enough, it is our biggest seller. It's our major gray chicken. It is uh, major gray, uh, wasn't a real person like Earl Gray, um, but people come in and ask for, for General Gray. He gets promoted, Admiral Gray, <laughs> I mean, we get them all. But uh, Major Gray is a, is a sweet mango chutney, mm. um, and we infuse that with uh, some fresh onions that we dice by hand, which causes a lot of tears for uh, the chefs back there. But uh, a fresh diced onion, um, cooked, uh, bloomed with some fresh mild curry powder. We're happy to make this dish hot. We can make it so hot that it's burning your lips. 
But we like that flavor to be there first, and if you want to make it so hot that mm. you need water, you can do that. But this one is the beginner curry that we love to introduce people to Indian yeah, food. That's because kids will eat it. You'll get a kid who says, I don't want anything. You give them a little bit of that, <laughs> they like it. Um, but people, like I said, this one's chicken, but you can certainly do it as a vegetarian dish. Mm. Um, unfortunately, this one you can't really do as vegan because it has cream in it. But um, if you come to my cooking class, I'll show you how to do it with coconut milk. Mm. And it's still tasty. <laughs> still I tasty. love coconut milk and, yeah. and stuff. So, and we do have some curries with coconut milk. You know, this one just happens to be a cream-based one. Um, you know, it's a small sampling of our menu. We have um, probably about 20 different sauces that you can mix and match chicken, paneer, Chickpeas. Mm. I, I, I'm sorry, but just keep talking. Keep, okay, keep. keep I, you know, <laughs> it seems like a. <laughs> this is just amazing. I, um, I love it. We'll have we'll have uh, some people will order this. Uh, you well, know, they'll order one so for here, good. one to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I I tell you, I woke up. I had this uh, uh, molokatani soup. And I woke up the next morning dreaming about that soup. And, and mulligatani <laughs> is one of those ones that it could be a lot of different things. The mulligatani oh. is not always like ours. Some, uh, some oh. have green apple, some have uh, no chicken or vegetable base. Ours is a rich chicken mulligatani with uh, masoor dal, which is a red lentil, fresh lemon juice, mm. uh, coconut milk, mm. um, gar masala spice. Which That's is uh, amazing. It's, it's, a, it's a good soup. Um, I think we do one of the best. Ours was featured in... Uh, you know, it's right. Appetit magazine. Um, we, uh, you know, we've, we've been doing it a long time, and I think we have those recipes dialed in, and we have people trained on how to make it consistent. And you also have a, um, a buffet. We uh, do during a great, the, during the day. great buffet Monday through Friday from mm -hmm. 11 to 2.30. That buffet is just great because you get a chance to try a lot of different food and not necessarily major grays on there because you got to have Major Gray on there. But you can try different chicken, like Kabuli chickens on there sometimes, which is an Afghan-style chicken curry. Um, today we had a tomato fennel chicken curry on there. So you change it up? We change it up. try to have two different uh, chicken curries. We have a beef curry that rotates. Um, you know, we have uh, two vegetable um, curries. One is consistently always our mixed vegetable curry. The other one rotates. Um, we have three different salads. Um, the salads can range from anything from like a couscous, which is more North African, to oh, yeah. to like today I made a uh, potato salad with chickpeas and uh, the caramelized onions and um, some apple cider vinegar. So it's like as close as you can get to a good German potato salad, but not having bacon in there. So <laughs> give the vegetarians a chance to enjoy a nice... Uh, I had a cucumber salad. Oh, it yeah. was, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was cucumber a, and peanut. We, oh. do, we do a cucumber peanut with a little lime and chili. Yeah. Um, so the salads are changing. Um, you always get to finish off with a good uh, mango yogurt mousse. Or um, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, when you're dining in the restaurant, you know, on the buffet, we don't have it, but our, our coconut ice cream pie is a great option for enjoying. Um, Cheryl will probably oh. get us one of those yeah, if, if she was nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talked about that. That's uh... that one. It's it's a mountain. <clears throat> we use a Snoqualmie gourmet ice cream, and we 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 mound it up high. We make a bittersweet hot fudge sauce that has sour cream and imported chocolate, oh, and that's wow. slow cooked. Um, we keep it warm. We drizzle it over there with some fresh toasted coconut. And I have people that come in just for dessert because they get so full here on a normal visit that they <laughs> they'll just come in because they never make it to, to the dessert to yeah. the dessert so it's like they come nice. in they decide do i want appetizers or do i want dessert <laughs> and you know we always say you know don't eat all your food we'll box it up yeah. save room for dessert because that's yeah. a great way to finish a meal yeah i mean but well, that's kind of hard not to do though i mean like i said i mean i was here and it's hard not to eat it and the colonel gray <laughs> major gray, major I went, gray. well i just you know promoted it okay yeah <laughs> It's okay. Um, I had to calm down on that because I, I was I was so excited that I loved the flavor and stuff, and but it's so rich that I know that this is something that I could actually make myself sick by if, eating if too you, much. Eat too much, sure. And moderation. so you really have to have some moderation when you come here because it's and so exciting that you everything. You know what's is, nice is about um, Shimiana is you can come with a few friends and you can order Major Gray and maybe somebody else orders Shimiana yeah, prawns that's and, good. and maybe I get the tikka lamb. And then if I'm really nice, I share a little bit with you, you share <laughs> yeah. a little bit with me. Yeah, and it's good. very family style, yes. very family friendly, and that's nice. what we like. And so real quick, you also will custom stuff? Um, Absolutely. If you, let's say you really like this Major Gray sauce, but you can't have chicken. 
Yeah. You know, we'll put potatoes in there. We'll put vegetables in there. We'll put vegetables in there, but you don't like cauliflower. We will not put cauliflower in there. We'll Do I need put... to call ahead for this? You no, know, absolutely not. You can just let, ask your really? server. Yeah, our menu is really designed where you pick your sauce and then you choose your ingredients. Nice. So you're torn between chicken and prawns. We can split it and do yeah. half prawns, half chicken for nice. you. We'll come in the same boat, but we're still happy to do it That's for works. you. That works. Yeah. Nice. Um, all of our sauces, and they all come usually flavorful, and we're happy to make them hot. If you want them hot, we do a nice, you know, we do just a three-star spicing level. One's a little kick, so mm -hmm. if it had no flavor, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a little kick. Our two's a nice medium. Oh, here's our coconut ice cream pie. And that's... Uh, Usually serve with many spoons because often is shared. After a, a nice meal here, people will uh, enjoy that, and that one just keeps going. I, I, Where's my spoon? Oh, there's one on there. <laughs> oh, okay. Go, on. Here, go grab that. Um, <clears throat> it's got a nice chocolate cookie crust, um, a dusting of coconut. Get a, that, Eric. That little, is hot. A little, a little fresh whipped cream. So this is the whipped cream. That's the whipped cream there. And this is the chocolate. That's a little bittersweet chocolate. And then what do we have here? The that ice cream. That is the coconut ice cream, and that's a perfect bite right there. If you can get if you can get into that, just flip it over on its side here. I can I can get that thing. <laughs> See? See what happens? There you go. Well, I think I think that yeah, might cost go. you. I think I, gotta, go. I think I gotta go for a spoon. <laughs> that. that looks suspect there. Let me mm. check that out. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm, bitter sweet chocolate. Mmm. It's nice and rich. Oh, that's delish. But we will have people that will just mm. come for this. Yes, or, I'm definitely getting this. If they can't think get this, well, we do a lot to go. And mm, we'll, the put the, we'll put the ice cream in a, a container, the whipped cream in a container. We'll keep the hot fudge on the side, and we'll let you go home and heat your hot fudge up. Because mm. if, if we put it all together, it'd be a, a little bit uh, almost soupy. Mm. Now, what if I didn't want coconut on there? Well, that we could help you out, but it's you know, kind of it's coconut ice cream. You know, for the season, we do have a peppermint ice cream pie, but um, we only do that, you know, towards uh, December and early January, and it's a limited limited edition uh, peppermint candy cane ice cream that Snoqualmie mm. Gourmet does for us. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm being quiet. In addition, <laughs> in addition to this, we do do traditional Indian desserts, like an Indian rice pudding called Kheer, which is very sweet, made with uh, ground almonds, uh, ground pistachios, sweetened condensed milk, and white rice. Wow. Um, we do a mango yogurt mousse, which is served on our lunch buffet, and that's a, a light blend of non-fat yogurt, whipped cream, uh, mango puree, and uh, topped with a little whipped cream and a little fresh pistachio. And we do a ginger-infused creme brulee, which we brown right to order for you, and that one's a nice, unique dish. If you like brulees, uh, this one's a good one. Uh, we uh, actually have to steep the ginger in with the cream to impart that flavor so we don't add any extracts or anything like that. It's just kind of a matter of like doing a garlic cream reduction. We do like a ginger cream reduction. Then mm. we make our brulee custard with that and then it's baked. And so it, it just, that flavor is just nice and subtle. And that's burned, burned to order for you. It's a lot of love, a lot of love. You know what's nice about it is uh, the food is consistent, it's good. It's, yes. it's, it's what you can expect. We have people um, that come, I'm just in town. i got to come to Shamiana. It happens all the time. My servers at lunch are saying, they just got off the airport. They're coming here because they can make the buffet. <laughs> and that buffet goes 11 to 2.30, but they'll race over here just to try. <laughs> they'll call ahead. Can you leave the buffet up? It's 2.15. I'm going to be there. <laughs> My servers are like, sure. <laughs> we'll do that for you. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, and we're, we're happy to do that. What's nice about the buffet, too, is if you have a group in your office, and let's say there's a party of 12, you can get in, get your food. You'll be eating within six, seven minutes of walking in the door. Nice, yeah. And so if you wanted to do like, hey, a going away cake for Bobby, bam, you got time for it. Or if you want to have go away coconut ice cream <laughs> pie for Bobby, that's even better. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, uh, this is amazing. I love Shamiana, and um, I want everyone else to love Shamiana. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't discover you, but I discovered myself that this is a... Uh, an amazing place for um, for a buffet or, or dinner or a date or it's a great great date place. Oh well, look at the, the atmosphere is just totally date you know kind of. It's date friendly. It's kid friendly, and a lot of times yeah. you know people worry about bringing kids in here. And we we yeah. have crayons. We got cups with lids on them. <laughs> and, you know, if it's not too busy, we let them run around. It, you know. Yeah, this is nice. We're we're happy to accommodate because I was a kid once. I admit it. Well, we were all kids once. I think I still some sometimes am a kid. That's you know? okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's okay. Well, Max, it's been great um, showing us what you have, a little bit of what you have. I know you have just a huge the, the, variety. You know, we're, of stuff. We're, we're on the web, as a lot of people are. I show yes. me on a restaurant. Yes. Com. Um, yes. And we have our full menu there. There's our cooking class schedule, but just a little bit of the Shimiana story about how 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 did white people end up making <laughs> Indian food, um, and and we do a good job of it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, you do, you do. Thank you so much, Max. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. And uh, definitely come down, visit Shamiana, talk to Max, and have a great meal, and and you won't be dissatisfied for <laughs> sure. So thank you. Good night. Mmm, it's so good. Chocolate? Mm. I always get more of that. Thanks for joining us today on Big Eat Small Spots. I had a blast, I hope you did too. So I hope you join us on BigEatSmallSpots.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and also, don't forget to tip your server. Check, please.